Hey guys, welcome back to another one of our tech tips here. Um, today we're going to talk about spoons, different sizes, shapes um, for spring salmon fishing. Um, these are basically the best spoons we've had over the past couple years. Uh, we generally fish Winnipesaukee, Sunapee, and Champlain. Uh, those are our three big ones with the emphasis on Champlain. That's where we like to go most. Um, but, you know, they're, they're all for for all three lakes, all any lake really for for salmon in the northeast, or you're gonna you're gonna do well with these. So, what you want to kind of realize about spoons is their shape. Every sh every different shaped spoon does something a little different. So, like for instance, the DB Smell, super thin, long spoon. They run well at high speeds, and they have a really tight wiggle to them. It'll just be a quick. Um, flutter to them, which is really natural if you have a liquid smell in it. On Champlain, um, which is the Elwives, they're a little bit thicker of a fish. Um, so I kind of like a little fatter profile spoon. These are Michigan Stingers. Um, these are a really good spoon. Um, these are Dreamweaver Super Slims, a little bit bigger. Uh, you know, sometimes depending on the day, the salmon can be a little bit finicky with spoons this size. And then uh, these Williams Wobblers also is a, a good spoon for us. Um, it's a much slower spoon. Like these are gonna run better in your one and a half to two, two and a half, probably tops before they start to spin because there's such a really wide action on them. Um, and then, oh, uh, we did really good too also on these moose looks. Uh, this size, I'm not, oh, it says one dash six. So it's a sixth ounce um, moose look. And this color too, especially a copper, with a holographic greenish blue um, finish is good. These are kind of a in-between spoon as well. They're not as wide as the Williams, but they're not as tight as the DBs. They're just, they have a nice action. Um, and again, the copper and orange, anything with orange in it really has been great for us in the past couple years. This is a Northeast Troller. This is the Orange Crush copper finish. That's been an awesome spoon, as you can see. It's just chewed right up on the tape. Like we catch everything on that spoon. Um, Lakers, salmon, rainbows, browns, anything. They love it. And this is another kind of similar spoon, but a little different variation. This is a Dreamweaver Super Slim in the double orange crush silver. Uh, again, a great spoon. Um, but uh, yeah, you want a good color combo. You want some naturals, bait fishy ones. You want some bright ones, some oranges. Um, you know, this one, Wonder Bread color, silver. It's kind of in between. It's got some color to it. It's silver, it's white. It's, that's a nice, nice spoon. Um, and you're gonna want also with your spoons, somewhere in your line, somewhere is uh, a good ball bearing swivel. These are really good ones. They're nice, they're small, they're strong. Um, just make sure that it's an actual ball bearing swivel and not just a swivel, uh, like a, a crimped swivel like, like this guy here. These are much cheaper. They work, but not as good. If you're gonna troll all day, you want some ball bearings in there. It's gonna make all the world a difference, um, especially at higher speeds. We tend to troll three to four miles an hour most of the time. So the ball bearings are definitely a helpful tool there. Now, you're gonna want something to keep your spoons in. We have two different ways we store our spoons. If your spoon's under three inches, spinnerbait boxes like this work excellent. And this has also some flies and dodgers in that, just ignore that. Um, but the spoons, they just hook on there. You know, you take them right in the, right in the grooves and uh, yeah, they just fit nicely. You can put a ton, you can see them. It's, it's a good uh, storage option. These cases aren't very expensive. Uh, we'll call it seven to 12 bucks, somewhere in there, depending on the size. And they work really well. Another option that I like are these spoon cases, this is a, a plain old spoon box. Again, probably, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks. Uh, these have this deep foam in there where they have pre-cut slots and you just take your spoons and stick them in. And these also 
you know, it's real secure, pulls them down, and you know, you're good to go. I also throw some packs of swivels in there. You can do that in either box, um, and your stuff's nice and secure. So, I think that's gonna do it for spoons. I mean, I know there's a lot more to them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments. We'll do our best to answer them. But thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.